Hi, it's Jimmy of Vegas here, and today we are playing a game. Well, I say a game, it's more of a demo that I made. Uh, in Unity, it's on Itch.io, it's called The Demons Inside. Now, some of you may already have seen it, you may already have played it. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, I kind of want to play this because I haven't actually played this since I originally created it earlier in 2019. So it's been a couple of months since I played it. So, yeah, going to play it. It's free, obviously. All made in Unity. Uh, yeah, go and play it. And let's get to it. So I'm not going to show you everything here. I'm just going to kind of play it and try and remember some things. There's loads of little hidden secrets here, there and everywhere. And there's just loads of little things hidden everywhere. So, you know, play it, try and find some of these things and just enjoy it for what it is. While searching for your partner, the investigation leads you to a derelict facility. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember. Chapter 2, Deep Slow Panic. So, I, I noticed a lot of people uh, asking, why is it Chapter 2? Well, it is a demo. It's just a demo. It's meant to be a snapshot of what the game could be. Hmm, okay. Oh, yeah. There's a radio thing here. Yeah, I remember doing that. This is one of the very last things I did, that room. Just something a little extra. Um, so yeah, uh, as you know, there's, well, if you played it, there's like little collectible silver dollars all around the place. Some of them, obviously, a bit more apparent than others. Uh, yeah, cobwebs block the way. Through your investigation, you'll come across various obstacles preventing you from advancing. Find different ways to overcome them. Try finding a naked flame to set the cobweb alight and dispose of it. So obviously, naked flame... Fire. So let's find fire. Oh, and there we are. It's glowing. Perfect. Let's take the candle. And let's get rid of cobwebs. So like I said, there's loads of little hidden things throughout this that... Uh, I, d I don't know whether people have found them or what. I've never really seen some people say certain things about it, but... Like, yeah, I think the spider's wandering around here. Just kind of aimlessly. Um, oh, silver dollar there. So there are achievements in this, but as you would expect through testing, I actually have them all anyway. Uh, but yeah, there's loads of little different things. Like this little book here. That's actually a reference to something, and I, I don't know whether people get the reference. I don't know. Uh, the swords here, I did intend for these to be uh, actually usable at one point. I did kind of hope to be able to use them, but I ran out of uh, development time. So the door, it's locked. You'll need to get through to continue. There are multiple ways to get past certain obstacles in the game. Try finding just one of the following. A door key, lockpick, an alternate route or route. Okay, so let's do that. So a lot of people kind of got stuck or lost or confused at this point. And um, again, I... As a developer, I kind of, I can't understand why, but because I made the thing, I, I kind of knew where to go the whole time, so it's just kind of daft for me. Uh, there are random elements in this game as well. You'll notice the gun here. If you've played it, the gun may not be there for you, maybe somewhere else. So certain aspects of the game are completely randomized. Hey, okay. <laughs> Still gets me even now. Demon block in the way, we have to get rid of him. Uh, fear meter at the top there, so more it fills, the more scared we are, so as long as we know there's a demon around, our fear rises. Okay, so yeah, obviously there was the gun. So I was going to put in, at one point you could have used the sword to um, get the demon, but yeah, I ran out of time. So shooting. So ran out of ammo, you'll need to look around for more. Okay, so there are a couple of places you can get ammo, um, but, you know, it's for you to find yourself. Um, there it is. Ammo. So we've got some more ammunition. Let's run, make this a bit quicker. Okay, so there's more spiders wandering around here, as you can see. Yeah. Obviously, 
places and objects all have little glowing things. You know, we've got... I think it's pretty obvious that that's the key there. This right here, which I don't know whether people pick up on. This is the lockpick. So I'm going to take the lockpick. Ooh, silver dollar. Okay. Um, this bookshelf has a couple of things in there. There's a little hourglass in there. There's other little random things in there. Just just because. So let's go back out. Little things like that make you think, what was that? That, that was the whole idea of it. Restricted area, no admittance. So let's do this. Let's go in. Now, another area. So obviously the way to go here is down here. Too dark to see. You'll need to find a way of lighting up the path ahead before you can continue. Take a look around to see if you can find one of two ways to illuminate the area ahead. So there are indeed two ways to illuminate the area ahead. Uh, most people always go for the torch or the flashlight right there. So I have seen quite a few comments of people saying, well, that's not a torch, that's a flashlight. I am British and we do call it a torch over here. So that's kind of why it is yeah, like that. So it automatically turns on when we come down into this area. Locked door. Looks like down here is the only way. It is indeed. It is indeed. So, without further ado, we can just go down. Go Easy. So, yes. Uh, remember I said earlier about the random, uh, random elements of it? Well, this left eye is always static, but the right eye randomizes its position. Uh, sometimes it's here, which it isn't right now. Uh, actually, now I come to think about it, I saw a couple of different people uh, with a glitch with this water, where the water would carry on as they walk through this section here. And what got me is I didn't expect people to kind of hug the wall here and that's what causes the glitch as we can see so yeah but I do state the beginning of the uh, game that there are bugs glitches oh and there's the right eye so let's take that and let's go and put the eye in here so this door is unlocked with something blocking the way obviously it's meant to make you think, is there a demon blocking the way? So you think, ooh, but obviously there isn't. It's just boxes that were blocking the way, as we can see right there. Uh, when the Cyclops can see, I shall give you the key. Obviously, the key's there. So, the Cyclops can now see. And there's our key. Excellent. Uh, okay. Let's carry on. <laughs> Creepy. Whoa! Seriously, I made this game. I forgot about that. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> so, yeah, he's obviously ran down and he's gone back down there. So, I'm going to leave him to it. Uh, yeah. I wish I'd have uh, gave myself more time to actually develop this uh, demo or even build it into a full game because I kind of enjoyed developing this. You know, in just a relatively small amount of time, this, this is what was made, so it was kind of cool. Uh, obviously a lot of these assets you've probably seen before, um, a lot of it's from the asset store, because the whole thing was done for nothing, it, it was made for free, nothing cost anything. <laughs> fan turning up there. Nice. Okay, so into the staff room. And there we go. There's our partner. Or is it? Completion time. 7 minutes 44 seconds. I used the lockpick to get through the door and used a flashlight to see downstairs. I found the white offerings. Congrats. I didn't find the trash bat, but I found 4 of the 25 silver dollars. Awesome. So let's continue. 
So yeah, like I said, it's subject to change. Bugs and or glitches may be present when playing. Obviously they are. If I'd have taken, say, double the amount of time, uh, so 24 weeks to create this, it could have been a whole lot better than what it is. I just kind of made this to just show what could be done in a short amount of time uh, for free in Unity. So that was The Demons Inside. Uh, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to have a go and play it yourself. There is tons of things to have a look and find in there. More than what I've just done now. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. But tell me in the comments why you didn't like it. I'm always curious to see why people don't like some of these games that I play. You can be as critical as you want about this. Um, it's no skin off my nose. You know, it, it's just something I did. Um, but yeah, it's always good to see why people don't like these things. Uh, so yeah, guys. That was The Demons Inside. I've been Jimmy Vegas. Thank you very much for watching.